Hey folks, this is Susie Meadows, working on getting the camera where it needs to be. <laughs> it's wanting to fall a little bit. I'm still working on it. So as I get this oriented, as you come on, let me know you're here and where you're from. I'm going to find my iPad and see what you all are seeing. I couldn't get the, hey, Vicki, I could not get the orientation turned. It kept wanting to go portrait, and it's like, oh, no, 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 I want landscape. <laughs> so we'll see if it's working. So, Vicki, I'm glad you joined me. Okay, it looks, it, well, it looks okay. Yeah, getting some extra stuff here that I wasn't going to show, but that's okay. Good deal. Excellent. Well, good, good, good. Okay. Well, you know, I wonder if my iPad will be in the way right there. Oh, it's just a little bit. We'll scooch it. Well, gang, I'm going to do a little bit of playing tonight. Uh, by the way, this is Susie Meadows. Hey, Susan, glad you're joining me. Um, we are going to play with the blending brushes tonight. Well, just one of them. We're also going to play with the Penguin Builder Punch. Actually, we're going to play with the bundle. And that is in our new holiday catalog. And it is on page 33. And we're going to play with both the stamp set and the punch. And along with that, just so you know, I've got a class coming up. It's going to be September 23rd. And if you're local, it's here at the Lebanon Library from 5.30 to 7.30. Got three different options. You can purchase the goodies, such as the, the bundle. And I'm, I will provide everything to make four to five projects. That's 40 bucks. Or if you just want to do the projects, that's $20. And you're you get to use all my supplies. Or if you purchase anything with Stampin' Up! $25 worth, you get to come and do the kit free. So, and I wanted to mention, this is also celebration. So that means there's an opportunity to earn things free. I love free, free, free. And uh, these are just some of the different things that would go well with this bundle. The embossing paste, um, the subtle shimmer sequins, the wonderful snowflakes, Wink Estella, crystal effects. Those are just some of the things. So like if you purchase this uh, bundle, um, then and purchase an additional eighteen fifty, then you get f something free, and that free thing you might want is the twelve by twelve designer series paper that coordinates with this. That it's always a nice thing. This punch actually punches out some of these. So, so just keep that in mind. But okay, but we are going to get going here. Um, let me move some, let me see. I'll show you what our supplies are besides the punch and the blending brush. We are also going to use some of this pattern play designer series paper. These are all the different, this is a huge packet. Um, and if you, um, let me see, it's, if you host a party, this is one of the things you can get. So, but we're going to use that. Of course, we're going to use our penguin place. We're going to use our stamp set. And I don't know if you've ever used these note cards and envelopes. These are so handy um, because it's a card base in an envelope already prepared for you. Looks like I boogered that up a little bit, throwing something in. So we're going to use the card base and we're going to use an envelope. Okay. Some of the other things we are going to use. Whoop, I about lost my paper. In fact, I may have. Oh, well. Okay. We'll scooch these over. We're going to use some Coastal Cabana, three and a quarter by four and three quarters. We're going to use a white three by four and a half. We're just doing some layering. And then these are scraps. Um, we're going to do some embossing with this one. And here we're going to make the penguin and we're going to have a little bit of a landscape. So I think that's everything. So, you know, first thing we're going to do is we're going to punch out our penguin. And here's some options. This is what we're going to do. We're going to punch it out and stamp it. But you also have an option of stamping the entire thing and punching it. 
but we're going to do this. So we're gonna open this up and just slide our black in. Is that big enough? I think it is. There we go. Okay. Well, now look, see, I cut his arms off, his hands off, oops, but that's okay. I could have went with a larger piece, but I didn't know, so. And now we need a white for, oops, get this out of here. Ah, get that out of there. So, and there we go. That's gonna be his face. Now, let me get some things out of the way here. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of stamping real quick here. Okay, we've got some of our orange. He's going to have, you know, first I'm gonna do the eyeballs. <laughs> Get some eyes on there with a little bit of black ink. And, nope, oh, I see that eye didn't get enough black ink. So there we go. Okay, we're done with our black. Now, let's give this pink one some feet and a beak. So, there we go. Has some feet and now needs a beak. Penguin has to have a nose. There we go. Okay. Get our pumpkin pie out of the way. And now I'm just going to glue this on. And I'm using my multi-purpose liquid glue. You know me, I this is my glue adhesive of choice. And put a little bit on the back of it. And I'm just going to center because I can wiggle a little bit. Yep, he needs to be centered. There we go. We have our penguin. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and emboss this. This is going to be the top. I had a teaser uh, picture earlier, and we're going to emboss it. So we're going to get the mini out, the mini stamp and cut and emboss. And we are going to use the wintry 3D embossing folder. It's a two pack. And I'm not going to use the evergreens. I'm going to use the sky with the snowflakes or stars, whichever you want to call it. But so this is a 3D folder. So I've got my one and my four. Well, first I have to get the folder. That might help. There we go. We've got our folder. And this piece of paper, when I look at this, I love that star right there in that, or snowflake, whichever. I guess they're really snowflakes. But I also like these little swirls here. So I'm going to, I'm gonna make sure I get that. That's my feature right there. So put that on, put my number four on top, sandwich it. Push it in where there's tension, and then just run it through. So, I know you two gals, you know this embossing. In fact, you may even have the mini. I can't remember if you do or not, Vicki. So, and Susan, I'm not sure what you've got. So there we go, we have that pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, now we, okay, we'll get it up here so you can see. That right there is what I really like. And um, yep, Vicki, I thought you had that. So I want to enhance this. Now, just to give you orientation, let's scooch some things over. Okay, these are our sizes. Okay, here is, see it's already, these note cards are already um, scored. So let me get my bone folder and so that makes it even easier when it's already scored, isn't it? Okay, so to show you what I do, I always like to dry fit first. That's going to be my coastal. This is going to be my white. And then this is going to be a feature up here. Okay, so I want that right there. So that is what I'm going to highlight with, I need a little bit of scrap paper here. 
so I don't get things everywhere. And I'm, I'm going to hop down here and get a little closer to this, to what we're working on. And I am using Coastal Cabana. I was double checking what color I was using. Folks, uh, when you come on and watch the replay, because I know several folks, this is a bad time of day for. Them. So when you come on, this is how you can get a hold of me, uh, either for an email or if you'd like to order. I've got another week using this host code. And um, I, I like to send everybody a goodie when they order from me. So if you use this host code, it takes you directly into my shop. So that way you'll know you're shopping with me. Otherwise, you may shop with another demonstrator and I would really like your business. So, um, so there we go. Okay, so these blending brushes, I've used them a couple different ways. I have historically, this, these are, um, some people say they're similar to makeup brushes, but these are little hairs. So I am just going to get it loaded. I'm not pressing, I'm just literally putting it across the pad. And I wanted to show you, you see when I first come down, it's really dark. I don't want the dark, I want the light area. So, and I like starting off the page and then coming in. Okay, and so I'm gonna come that over here and I would rather go light because I can always add ink, but I can't take it off once it's there. Okay, so let's go a little more there. I think that's, I think that's good. Let's see, let's just see what it does when I take it around. Just a little more, look at that. I'm not gonna use all of this, but I'm just showing you. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous, okay. So that's all this is. And as you can see, I was not pressing. I was just firmly hanging on to this and I'm just swirling it, letting the brush do the job. So, okay, we are done with this. Don't let me forget, gang. I have others to show you. I always get off here and forget to show you. And I don't want to do that. Okay, now we're going to put this together. And now I'm sort of winging it because... Um, I'm trying to think how I want to do it because I really don't need this. Okay, so this is going to go like this. I want the white and I'm going to put there. Okay, so I don't need this right here. So I'm going to, I'm, like I said, guys, I'm winging it. Where's my snips? Okay. I am going to make a hillside. So I am just making a, a, a landscape, a snowscape, I guess you could say. So as you can see, I just freeformed that. <laughs> I do best when I freeform it. Okay, so this is going to go like that, and this will be here. Now, I want some of that distinct. I could do it just like that, in fact. Let's see what this would look like. Okay, so I could put that there, and I could put the sentiment. In fact, let's go ahead and put the sentiment so you see what I'm doing. Now, this sentiment that I'm using is be cool, be chill, be merry. I don't want the be merry. So I have two options. I can mask it by using a post-it and going right there. Or lots of times I just make sure I don't ink it. But this time I'm gonna mask it and let's see how we do. Okay, so flipping it over, getting a good handle on it. I like doing it so I can see it. And I'm just inking it up. I want to make sure I get it well. Okay, take the post-it off, that's always a good thing. Okay, be cool, be chill. I want this at the very bottom, I want it centered. So there, straight down and back up. There we go, cool. Okay, so I decided, I, I didn't necessarily, this doesn't have to be a Christmas card. So I'm not making it a Christmas card in fact. Now, like I said, I could put that right there and that would be gorgeous, but I wanted to try, I'm looking, you can't tell as I'm looking around, this paper is, like I said, from the pattern play. 
it where is it it's this one right here and see on the back of them there's one colorful side and then a black side I do this because I have to see things I'm so visual but when I looked at this I sort of thought oh that looks like bushes or shrubs so what if I come here and have this follow my landscape so okay so I've got to decide I could go there so what I'm going to do is once again I'm freeforming I know Vicki this drives you nuts you don't like to freeform you like using a ruler but I'm not going to so I am just going to follow my landscape it's not going to be precise so there we go I think that looks cool okay so we're going to glue I need to get this so I can see it a little better here I don't need much I just want a little bit and of course I've got a shadow where I'm working there we go Okay, and we're going to put this on, line it up. It can come up further. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Actually, it needs to come down a little bit, I see. There we go. Okay, now I could cut that off, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and glue this pretty embossed sheet down. <laughs> You're getting better at freeforming. Yes, you are, Vicki. The more we do it, the more practice. You know how what that saying is. So we're going to go like that. And, yep, we're going to go right there. So I need to glue just a little bit of glue. Okay. And I want the same border everywhere. Oops, and that needs to go up. That's why I like the glue. I can move it up. Okay, and I'm gonna turn it over in case I have ink or glue on my hands. And there we go, pretty. Okay, huh? got a little fuzzies there. Okay, let's get the glue out. Well, I'm, we're, not we're not done yet, probably. No, nah, we're not. Okay, so where we can put right there or right there. I sort of like that right there. I don't know. What about that up there? Hmm. Well, if we look at the balance, this is a focus, this is a focus, and this. And actually, you notice that they say triangle, so we're going to put it here. Well, and I'm going to bump him up. He needs to be elevated. He's special. So we're going to get to my dimensionals. I don't need my minis, but I do want my big dudes. So we'll put one at the head and one at the feet. And take the release off. Okay. And I think I want him or her. I want my penguin. I think I want my penguin there. There we go, okay. So let's put this on the note card now. I like these note cards, I tell you, because that way, you know, the card bases and the envelopes are done and ready for me. And these are the size that you can mail. You can put them in, in you know, in the normal mail. Um, you don't need extra postage or anything. There we go. Once again, flip it over in case I have ink or glue. Pretty. Now, we must put a little bit of bling on this. And what I'm going to use is the Subtle Shimmer Sequence. And as you can see here, I have some examples. There's two different, there's, um, or maybe there's three. There's an iridescent that's almost clear, not quite, it's frosted. But then here's a, well, it's clearer. Whereas this is a little frosted when you flip it over on the other side. And the bottom, these uh, pretty shiny ones, one are concave and the other is convex. So it's upside and downside. But so I'm going to open them up carefully. Now, where do I want to put? 
I think I went there, there, and I think I'm gonna focus on the star. So I'm just using my glue once again. I'm gonna get it a little bit closer so I can see. I'm just putting a dot there, and I think there. Now, we can go shiny or we can go iridescent. I don't know, but I'm gonna use my Take My Pick tool. And you know, let's just uh, see what we get. I got a shiny. Okay, so I'm gonna put my shiny down here. It's a big one. Use my snips to, there we go. Because otherwise, it wants to stay on, my, on the putty end and I don't want that. Okay, I want a little one. So there we go. Once again, use my snips to, down you go, down, come on now. There we go. Okay, and this next one, I don't know what we'll use. Um, I'm not sure which I got. Oh, it looks like I got a couple on this one. It's a little one, but I don't know if it's a shiny or if it is the iridescent. Oh, it's a shiny. Looks like a tinsel. Well, it doesn't want to stay. It wants to stay with the putty. There we go, okay. Now, I could go with five, but I sort of like my three. I sort of like that right there. So there we go, gang. So this is what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you, let me see, how to do a little bit of free forming for the landscape, um, how to use the blending brush, and then how to use these pretty little sequins. Very, very easy to use. And of course, take your pick tool. That is always the berries. So, okay, so let me show you some of the other, oh, now wait a minute, I do have the envelope and I don't want a naked envelope. So, I don't have, let me see, where's my stamp set? Which one shall we put on the outside? I like you a lot of happy birthday. You know, I think I'm just gonna do those. I'm gonna do some little snowflakes. So, and photopolymer, if you are used to using it, you pull it out of the case and you lay it face down and let it uh, get back to its shape. Okay, and we will use our coastal. And ink it up. And I think we'll just go there there and on the back on the envelope we'll give it some pretty zing bing bing and bing there we go good enough nice okay so now let me show you these other cards that I've been playing with this is one I made earlier and I used a different blue and these are actually the balloons in the stamp set let me show you here there we go the balloons so, um, let me scoot things over just a little bit. Get, the, get that out of the way. There and there. Okay. So, and here I used, I actually used this, which is the, um, the landscape, which is actually a stamp in here. And once again, be cool, be chill. So, and that's the pretty free paper you can get. Be dazzling. It is a dazzling affair. And then on the inside, happy birthday. We've got that here, and here are the balloons with some of the, the sticks holding them. And that's just, this is just some white uh, uh, baker's twine. That's so he looks like the pink one is holding a bouquet of balloons. Okay, oh, I got oh just a few more to show you. These are, um, this is actually what we did in the penguin class. And with the blending brush, we used pale papaya and just did this little art panel. And then we used this pretty shimmer vellum and uh, using the pretty pumpkins, the pumpkin dies, we die cut that out using adhesive, mind you, and we just plopped it down. So it made it really nice, but that, but that pale papaya is really pretty, isn't it? So that was something. And then earlier, I was just playing with embossing folders. And here's one I used a little bit of green um, I don't remember which green, maybe soft sea foam, and a little bit of gray. I thought that looked real pretty. And then here, this is where I found out I had not cleaned my blending brushes. 
I have a blending brush for blue, one for green, one for yellow, and one for red, and one for orange. Well, I thought they were clean, but I thought, well, maybe not. Well, I didn't have to ink up the greens at all. <laughs> there was enough ink in the greens. This here was uh, reds. There was plenty there. And uh, so, but anyway, I thought this sort of looked like fall um, leaves falling. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then this one, I made this a little while ago, but I really hadn't showed you guys yet. This is part of Whimsical Trees, the stamp set, and they have a, a matching dies. And we actually have a class on this, which is gonna be August. October, I believe, is this one. And this, I used some of that pretty, um, mm -hmm, I just lost the name. It's ombre specialty paper, that's what it is. But they have those dies. And once again, I used the sequins, the shimmer sequins. And here I used a little bit of balmy blue. As you can see, I like that particular snowflake, but I also love the movement here. So, yeah. So this is something that I made. So these are just a few that you can make with your um, blending brushes. And um, it's fun. Actually, you can do a lot of different things. So um, if you do not have any, you might want to check them out. Like I said, I have one for the major color groups. I, um, you know, so a red I use for a poppy, but I also use it for a real red or cherry cobbler. I just try to clean them out really good. As in not water, I just keep rubbing. Um, like here, if I was trying to clean this out, I would just keep rubbing. See, there's still a lot of ink in here, isn't there? But I would just do that until I got the majority of it off. And then I'd switch to a different green in this case. So, but anyway, okay gang, that is it. That is the Facebook Live. This is our, and uh, I hope you join me next Monday, which is the last Monday in August, which is August 30th. Cause you know, I come on every Monday at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, also, I didn't mention, but you know you're in the live. If you see up in this top, you know, I need to get up so I can look in the camera. If you look up here, there we go. There is a red rectangle box that says live. That's how you know you're live. Otherwise, you're watching the replay, which is wonderful. I'm glad you are. Um, also, I put these on uh, YouTube. And so if you're on YouTube, make sure you like it and you hit the bell, which is for your notifications, and it lets you know when I've got another video up there. And then on Facebook, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Well, hopefully you like it. So, and let me know if there's some other stamp sets or bundles or, or techniques or whatever to play with. So if you do not have a demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business, and that's where you catch me, gang. So hope you are having a great August. I'm tickled pink because, oh, thank you for the hearts. Uh, I'm tickled pink because this week I get floors in my house. You know I'm doing a remodel. Uh, this is, house was built back in 1865, so it needed some love. And uh, But anyway, the kitchen uh, cabinets and the countertops came in last week. I still don't have running water downstairs. <laughs> so yes, I hike upstairs for everything. But, uh, but Wednesday I get my floors. So once the floors are all, all on the main floor, then we can do baseboards, then we can do the bathroom, then we can change over to the water. And so we're close, gang. I am so excited. And I appreciate you being patient. I've had to move my craft spot from here to here to here. And in fact, after tonight, this is getting, this whole thing here is getting boxed up, stored away, so they can have free access to the floor. So, um, so, um, but anyway, I'm hoping next Monday I'll be able to have, get my stuff back out and start crafting. So, hope you're doing well. It's been great uh, seeing your comments, Vicki. I sure appreciate you following, following and I, I, I enjoy having you on the team, Snazzy Crafters. And I hope things are going well for you and everybody else who's joining. So, take care. See you later, gang. Bye-bye. <laughs>